All right, Derek Lewis back again with another Lego investing video. And today I want to go over five Lego sets that I believe are the most underrated that are retiring in the year of 2023. And of course, this is for investment purposes. Uh, it's not financial advice. However, I'm just telling you what I would do if I was starting over from square one or what I, you know, might be doing in the future here. Who knows? Uh, if you would like to follow along with my personal Lego investing portfolio and to see how that has done over the past couple of years, uh, I guess I, I should say over the past year since I started documenting it and then how it's going to do in future years, I recommend signing up for my newsletter. I document my whole portfolio, its performance, the additions, the, re, the, uh, the when I take profit on sets, I do all of that and then just kind of give my general thoughts on the market um, in a way that I'm not really able to on YouTube because I'm kind of scatterbrained when I create these videos. If that's interesting to you, I encourage you to sign up below, link in the description. Choice is yours, you don't have to do it. If you just wanna hang out here and listen to me talk, that's cool too. So, five of the most underrated Lego investments this year. These are sets that I think are not getting a whole lot of attention that I think will be sneaky good. Um, simple as that. So, let's dive in. Yeah, and I just want to say also, I know I'm like more inclined to keep making more and more Lego investing content, even though a bulk of my content historically has been more just business, online business related. But I just can't help myself, not only because I really like talking about it and I'm passionate about it, but uh, I just keep feeling pushed that direction with all forms of my content, social media, everything included. If you're liking it, let me know. I just, if you want me to do more, keep this up, let me know. So the first one, this would be uh, a familiar name if you watch the one of the most, probably not the most recent, but one of the most recent sets uh, that I talked about in uh, in a video, and that is the Technic Monster Jam Megalodon. Uh, that set, in my opinion, is being looked over by just about everyone, primarily because uh, Technic has a little bit of a bad rap, and historically, in the past couple of years, you've really had to pick your sets perfectly if you wanted to hit on the ones doing really well and avoid the ones that are just kind of average right now. However, this one in particular, I think hits the perfect mixture of demand, of shelf life, of everything in between that I am looking for in a set, especially one that I think is being overlooked by just about everyone. I haven't, I don't watch a ton of content these days now that I'm creating so much myself, but I haven't really seen anyone mention this besides myself. Again, I already brought it up in a different video, so uh, this shouldn't be shocking to a lot of people. I think it's gonna be one of the best of the year, uh, but it's just, it's definitely underrated. The second one is also another set, the last one I promise, from one of the recent videos I did uh, for the what I would think is gonna be one of the best sets of the year is the Spider-Man Web Quarters Hangout. Uh, I, in particular, don't like Marvel sets because Number one, Marvel as a theme just has had a terrible run of things over the past few years. Actually, I would just say mainly last year because a lot of these terrible Avengers sets are retiring and those sets are just, they're, there's terrible Lego sets. Uh, they have no demand. Uh, they are clearly oversupplied by the market. No one likes them. No one wants them. And I, I honestly cringe when I see posts from people who are like, I caught these at 40% off. Again, when I talk about bad Lego investments, it's a relative term because they're probably still going to outperform the S&P 500. But please, people, if you are going to go down this rabbit hole, I encourage you to look other places than 40% off Marvel Avengers sets, okay? Yes, they're probably going to do okay. Could you do so much better if you choose to do this? Oh my gosh, yes. So be hesitant. Yes, if you there's a certain price where I'm a buyer of any set. However... I'm definitely not looking towards Avengers sets because those things are garbage um, for a, a million different reasons that I'm not going to get into. So the Spider-Man, this Webquarters Hangout one though, it is, a, it is if, if it wasn't named this and I couldn't see the picture of the set and you only gave me the data, it doesn't look like a Marvel set. All the other Marvel sets retiring this year, all are kind of similar, but then there's this one that just stands out and it's like, this is not like the others. And that is this set. I think this will be a shocker. And I think a lot of people are going to be kicking themselves that they didn't pick up on this prior to when it retires at the end of the year. Number three, I don't like the Minecraft theme for investing. I've mentioned this on a recent video. 
I believe Minecraft is so oversupplied by Lego and that they have not caught on to the idea that a lot of children, a lot of young guys or people who are young when they played Minecraft are not playing Minecraft anymore. Or if they are playing a similar game, they moved on to other things like Roblox, Fortnite, who knows. Uh, it's a great game. You know, I like Minecraft when it first came out. I loved playing it as a, as a young adult. However, uh, I just think Lego hasn't realized how how the, the market has shifted and how the video game world has shifted. Um, still a great game. Still something that I, I think a lot of people, uh, their kids still do play, but there's just not enough demand there uh, for the supply. Lego needs to reduce supply and I think things will pick right up. And I also see this actually, I see this theme dying off soon. I think Lego is going to ax it soon uh, for the reasons I mentioned, um, but we'll see. I could be totally wrong there. I hope I'm wrong, but that's just what I believe. However, the Nether Bastion set for the class of 2023 that is retiring, I believe this set and uh, I think the Ice Castle set, honorable mention, but didn't make this list. I think the Nether Bastion set, and there might be people who say this isn't underrated, but in my opinion, it is because Minecraft in general is just very lackluster when it comes to the average performance in recent years. But I think the Nether Bastion set will, uh, it, it kind of, it won't fall into that same group. It will outperform the rest. That's my prediction. Then we have the Icons Birds, Bird of Paradise set. This is uh, this is one of the, I don't want to say it's the first, but it's among the first of the you know botanical style Lego sets to start retiring, and this is a Target exclusive. And the reason I mention that is in case you weren't aware, retailer exclusive sets outperform non-exclusive sets on average, okay? So it's got that going for it. On top of that, it's a botanical set that um, if you haven't looked at the demand of the different flower themed sets, you need to go look on Amazon and use a tool that kind of shows the average sales rank, normalize that for the price, the cost of the set, and you will find numbers that will blow everything out of the water. And I mean everything, I'm talking there are some of these flower themed sets that outsell the best and most in demand Star Wars sets that you can find. Not all of them, but some, which is insane because Star Wars is by and large the best theme uh, when it comes to Lego investing, especially recently, and will probably remain that way. But if a, ran if, if a certain style of set like this one, it's kind of like a theme inside a theme, the botanical stuff, if that can hold a candle and oftentimes beat out a lot of Star Wars sets, that needs to be paid attention to. And I think a lot of people, and there are people who focus on this. However, I've just seen this set in particular, even though you can't gauge demand as well on an exclusive set because it's not sold by Amazon, it's just sold by third party individuals like you and I. Um, but I just think those two things make this a very good set. It could be a little more attractive. You know, I'm not the kind of, I'm probably not the best judgment for rating flower themed sets. Uh, I'm not a flower guy myself. Um, I can appreciate the beauty of them, of course, but it could be a little bit of a better looking set, but I just think the fact that it's a Target exclusive plus a botanical theme set means it's underrated. And lastly, it's a Star Wars themed set, and on initial viewing, uh, I totally understand if some people go, oh, a Star Wars set? That's not underrated. Because, like I mentioned, Star Wars is just, it's, it's the greatest theme in, in LEGO right now. Um, it has been for a long time. It continues to be on its average returns, beat that of any other theme for obvious reasons. It is what I would, if I were giving financial advice, I'm not, but if I were to at some point in my life, I would definitely probably recommend to people, I don't know, I would probably recommend to people to start with Star Wars if you didn't have a lot of capital to work with. If I was starting over today, that's where I'd focus 80% of my capital within the Star Wars theme. And the the set that I'm talking about is underrated is the only underrated set from Star Wars in my opinion because a lot of Star Wars sets are properly rated or maybe even slightly overrated uh, but properly rated is the Hoth ATST Walker. Now, some of you will understand why this is underrated, some of you won't. This is probably going to be the Star Wars set that is viewed as the has the least potential out of all the sets retiring this year. There's a very, very specific reason for this. The last ATST Walker, okay, it's from the Mandalorian, and it has uh, Mandalorian minifigures in it. However, to this day, uh, let's see, almost two years after retirement, 
Amazon still has it in stock. Okay, it's what is called. It is the dreaded. It is, it is a dreaded zombie set, which means it retires, but somehow Amazon still has it, and other retailers still have it for whatever reason, and it's still being sold for forty dollars, like it has been for the past like five years. That is technically speaking an investor's worst nightmare, especially if you're an investor like myself who is trying to compound the capital in that twelve to twenty-four month window post retirement. You don't like that. However. I think for that reason, people are going to not buy this because they are so scared or they are still holding on to that other ATST set and don't and think that this one's not that different. Now, this one isn't that different. However, the fact that it is a different, actual different Lego set, despite having very heavy similarities, it being the same as ATST, you know, vehicle contraption from Star Wars, I still think the fact that it's a different set. It's not Mandalorian related. It's a Hoth, uh, you know, the the world and Star Wars theme. Uh, it's focused on that. And the fact that it's just going to be overlooked by everyone because they're so scared is going to make it an underrated and actually it, it's going to perform quite well, in my opinion. As long as we don't have a repeat scenario where Amazon is somehow, and again, it's not Amazon's fault. It's the fact that Lego created enough supply that Amazon still hasn't run out despite it being a very, it's sold very well for a very long time Um, and still kind of does. That said, um, I could be totally wrong here. This one's the biggest uh, out of all these that have the risk of not being a great investment. This one's it despite it being Star Wars. But I think it's extremely underrated for the mentioned reasons. And I think another thing I think another thing that is not getting mentioned too about this is this set in particular. Ah, you know what? We'll save that for another video. We'll save that for another video. That's a different topic. So if you like those five, let me know. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. Um, I'm always interested to hear what people think. So to, to summarize, you have the, the Megalodon Monster Jam truck from Technic. The web quarters hang out, the Spider-Man web quarters hang out from Marvel, the Nether Bastion Minecraft set, the Bird of Paradise Icon Botanical set that is a Target exclusive, and the Hoth ATST Walker. Um, again, kind of crazy of me to even claim any Star Wars set is underrated, but you know what? Actually, there is another thing I want to talk about, uh, different from what I said, it'll be a separate video for that ATST Walker. I think Lego will have realized and learned a ton from the fact they weighed way too much of the, the other ATS2 walker that I bet you they undersupplied this one. So if you factor all those things in, the fact that I think there's a high chance, again, there's no guarantee of any of this. There are no guarantees in life, just probabilities. There's a high probability that is undersupplied, high probability that is overlooked by a lot of investors who are scarred from the previous set. And the fact that uh, it's just a different set itself makes this in my opinion a good investment and for those of you who might wonder oh is that one that was supposed to retire or that retired two years ago and they still have some stock is it a good investment now no way too much supply avoid it you don't want it one day it'll be a good investment today's not that day and it won't be for a long time so just some word of advice not financial advice um but yeah those are the five let me know what you think and i'll see you guys soon